Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and in this tutorial we are going to create this ripped apart photo and this is the original and this is after our editing so this will be a really quick tutorial and on this image I did two different things so one is this rip apart effect and the other one is filter and I added some noise so maybe this is too much and uh, let's go this is it, the original and this is after the edit so I will let's go let's just say we want to edit this image so we will need this PNG file I will leave a link where you can download and I will just grab it with my move tool and place it up here just like that so I will hit Control T I can go rotate this is some random stuff just go make it larger something like this okay and now let's go bring our brush tool and just paint over this area at the bottom so I will make sure my layer one is selected and just paint the rest of your image great now this is it I will hit move tool and I will just drag it a little bit down there now next what we need to do we need to go and duplicate this layer Control J or just right click and duplicate layer so find what's easier for you to work and let's go and make sure your layer one is at the bottom so now I will hold alt until I can see something like this and I will create and I will create clipping mask just like that you don't see anything because I didn't close this one and now the hardest part of this tutorial is doing this so this is really easy make sure your layer one is selected hold control and click once up here to make selection of it now go back to your top layer and just go right click on it rasterize layer and just hit delete so you probably don't see anything happened yet but I will hit Ctrl D to deselect and now with my move tool I will just move this or I can go and move this a little bit great now uh, if you want to edit it a little bit more just go from up here make sure you select this and create something like I don't know we can go and do something like this It's really up to you guys how you want this to look and I don't want to get it much great I'm satisfied with this effect now go back to your layer one and go to blending options and add some drop shadow so find something like this and maybe distance just something like this and spread this is too much something like this okay and that's it and now the last step is let's go to filter filter gallery and let's go add this effect grain and I will just make it smaller so I can see how my image will look like and I will add a little bit noise something around here 26 okay so you see it only affected the top one it didn't affect this one so now just go click up here on this one go to filter and just hit filter gallery and it will apply the same effect hit ok and that's it so guys that's what i wanted to share with you in this video and i hope you like it see you in the next video next week thank you for watching bye